Hey guys, quick video here. Um, my ca my camera's battery is about to die, so it's gonna be super super quick. I look like trash right now because I haven't shaved in so many days. I've just been doing nothing but watching Japanese drama like all day, all night. I pulled an all-nighter last night and I'm just like, ah, what is life? Anyways, I'm here to talk about um, what I've been doing this spring break to avoid losing my Japanese. As some of you may know in Japan, spring break is about a month and a half long and I'm still in spring break. It started at the beginning. Yeah, like uh, mid beginning of February in the middle of the semester I kind of noticed my Japanese level lowering and especially in spring break when like everyone goes to their home country or goes traveling and you're just like in your dorm alone just sitting there watching nothing but Japanese drama like your Japanese level will sink so low so fast so in order to avoid that in order to kind of maybe cushion that or stop it from happening I have come up with a few things that I do every single day to try to keep my Japanese level up. First one is I read two articles every day from a website called, uh, it's pronounced Watanoshi, but it's like W-A-T-A-N-O-C, Watanoshi, so, dot com. This is a website that per, uh, Japanese natives will make articles at gen, or, uh, at JLPT, N5, N4, sometimes N3 level. Sometimes the articles will have even narrations, like they've actually recorded themselves reading the article. It's super, super simple articles, a lot of them are way below my level, that's fine. But for those of you who may not be J JLPT, N3 level, you know, this website is still very useful. And there are, there are some, you know, there are considerably more N5, N4 level content, but there still is N3 level content, which I read. I make sure to read one every single day. That's also very important. There is a wonderful website called lang8.com. This is a website where you can write things in the language that you're learning and natives will correct uh, your writing and they will give you their opinions or thoughts or ideas maybe how they how you can make it more natural stuff like that I use that for Japanese I I go through my JLPT grammar book and I try to use grammar structures from like one lesson almost all of them I try to use them uh, whenever I'm writing out a story or explaining something on lang8.com and oftentimes I use them kind of in, incorrectly or wrong or just the formality isn't right and it's fantastic because natives can help me through langate.com uh, fix the errors that I make. Third thing I do is I try to watch one episode of a Japanese drama every day. I started out doing this with anime, but after some recommendations I realized it might be better to watch dramas because in dramas it's more realistic. They use uh, more realistic expressions. Expressions you would actually use throughout the day instead of, you know, 4,000 different ways to say, I'm gonna kill you, right? <laughs> like they do in Dragon Ball and Naruto. The next thing that I do is I make flashcards. I have JLPT books um, for vocabulary and kanji and reading comprehension, and I just take the vocabulary that I don't know from there and I I just make flashcards um, with them on this online space repetition flashcard website and I will, when I finish with everything, I'm going to release it to public and to you on YouTube so that you guys can use it as well. It's going to be starting at JLPT N3 level because that's what I'm studying for right now is the N3 level. And the last thing I do every day is Wani Kani. This is a wonderful, wonderful website that teaches you kanji, like all the kanji you will ever need to know. Um, and more. It also teaches you vocabulary that utilize such kanji. This is a wonderful, wonderful program and it forces you to wait and to actually like, let the kanji you've just learned ruminate inside your head and then later, um, a few hours later, or maybe the next day, it'll bring back those kanji. And the more you get it right, the longer and longer it takes to bring them back. And if you get them wrong, then it shows it to you uh, sooner than later and if you get it right more often it shows you much later than sooner. Space repetition. It's the best way to learn vocabulary. 
and kanji in my opinion, along with monomics, which it also uses. So those are the things I am doing right now to help my Japanese level stay pretty pretty good over this spring break. If you guys have any other suggestions, maybe you guys are doing something yourselves, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, peace guys.